What's up, guys? I'm back today with another Pocket GM 21 video. And in today's video, we are back with episode number 29. It has been a while since I've recorded this series, so I am happy to finally be back and recording it. A lot of the old videos that I have uploaded for Pocket GM were recorded a long time ago. Uh, they were all pre-recorded, so they were probably recorded like months ago uh, compared to when they were actually uploaded. Uh, so I'm happy to finally be back, at, although this video will probably be uh, posted far in advance from when I'm recording it. So anyways, let's get started with today's episode. You guys know the team. We are back for another year. The team's looking pretty good. 88 offense, 79 defense. I have a feeling the defense is going to struggle probably, uh, but I'm hoping the offense can carry us to a fairly solid season. Uh, we have a fairly good team. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. 83 overall team, but definitely... The defensive side of the football is where we need to make some improvements here, and uh, I'm hoping we can do that, but we'll have to see what ends up happening here. We're going to start off this year, see what we can do. We are going to start off against our old team. One thing I do want to check, Corey Vinoy, still a free agent, did not play last year, and he's still a free agent uh, out there to be picked up. Maybe we could bring him in after this year, who knows, we'll have to see what we want to do. Uh, but we are going to be starting off against Miami, so it's going to be a tough little matchup here to start the game. We're gonna we're gonna send this one, and we do get the W against Miami. Wayne Douglas is their quarterback, uh, 76, 24 years old, in his third season. He's his fifth game of his career. for his two touchdowns, and one interception. Mickeon is going to throw one touchdown. And Marcus Peters, 91 yards, and we do get the W. That's really all that matters. Doesn't have to be flashy, doesn't have to be a big game, but as long as we get the W, that is all that matters. Our offensive guard is going to get injured, pretty high injury rating, so kind of expect that kind of thing. Going to be moving on to Baltimore, and we get absolutely crushed, 38-9. to Four touchdowns, no picks for their quarterback, 88 overall, pretty solid for him. Mickey on, no touchdowns, and... Uh, yeah, we're going to forget about that one and move on to week number three. A our top corner, is that our top corner? That is our top corner, is going to get injured for three games. Not exactly what we want to have happen, but we're going to move on to that. Drop us down to a 78 on defense, and we'll see if we can get back on track against Chicago. And we do, 24-9, to 9, 395 yards of offense, two touchdowns for Mickey on. Peters with 82 on the ground, 132 for their receiver. And uh, we're going to be two and one. I don't think we're going to have any star players that are really going to just come out and, and, and play like crazy and have huge stats and play for an MVP type caliber season. Uh, Marcus Peters could have a good year, but I don't think, I'm not sure. 190 yards in three games is not great. We are not rocking a, oh, we are rocking Smash Mouth. I totally forgot. We do have a Smash Mouth offense. I forgot I picked up a Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth um, head coach and offensive coordinator. So We'll see how that ends up doing for us. 31-21 uh, against Buffalo. Tough little loss there. Pretty much equal on yards. We had 200 yards on the ground. One touchdown, one pick. 122. That's insane. Marcus Peters. And uh, we just can't come out on top. 31-21. Four games in. 2-2 two and two on the season. And Pittsburgh, we do climb back into this one with a W. And they actually outgamed us in yards, but we do come away with the W. Mickey on with three touchdowns, 20 for 25, solid day. Rushing, Peters is going to get a touchdown as well. And Peters is going to lead us in receiving as well. 63 in the air, 61 on the ground. And a receiving and a rushing touchdown as well for him. And uh, that is going to be a W. And we are going to move on. Miami, we are the only team to beat them, which is pretty pretty wild. They have a rough offense, but a very, very solid defense. I do want to check out some of these players on this team. Uh, Darius Benjamin was a player I definitely was interested in bringing back on the team. But uh, let's check out some of these defensive players, see if we can ever get them back. Parsons, definitely a player I do want to get back. And Smelter could be a player as well. And some of their corners are definitely really solid. And uh, yeah, anyways, let's go on. Four and one on the year for them, three and two for us. And we're going to be moving on to Minnesota. And we lose. Wow. Three and three on the year. They're bumping up to three and three. And uh, they almost put up 500 yards of offense. Orlowski, wow. R running 44 yards on the ground for OB Knight. Not exactly what we want to have want to see happen. So we're going to move on to the next game. Our, another injury. Is that to our top right receiver? Of course it is. And we're going to be rocking. Let's see. Maybe we could pick up a free agent wide receiver. There's not really anybody out there that's probably worth it. So we're going to rock with 
Asi Asi, and uh, move on into this one. We'll probably play two more games and see where we end up against the Jets. We do get a very good victory, 37 to 30. And uh, their quarterback throws through two picks, but Makeon with a four touchdown day. Uh, Peters with 107 on the ground. Phenomenal day. Who ended up catching a lot of these touchdowns? Marcus Peters, Owa, uh, Hertz, and then Tom Mitchell as well with a receiving touchdown. And that's going to move us to four and three. I'm pretty sure we've gone. Yeah, win loss, win loss, win loss, win loss. Can we break the curse? Can we break the curse? You guys can see where our stats kind of land. We're fairly good on rush defense, but fairly and fairly good on rush offense, but very rush on pass defense, and uh, not going to really cut it there. So we're going to move on to Green Bay. We need to get this W to break the curse, and we don't. We fall to four and four, and back to back. We cannot win two games in a row, but that means we also are not losing two games in a row. But we're not going to really do great there. Mikion's going to run for two and throw for two. But that is just not enough as we lose by eight. And uh, four and four on the year. We are in the hunt and Miami is going to be leading the division. Our defense is absolutely horrific. We've given up over 200 uh, points. And we are we the first team to give up over 200 points. We are the first team to give up over 200 points on the year. That's terrible. We also have 182. Pretty pretty okay for scoring, but overall, this is just not going to cut it. We need to pick up on the pass defense, and we really do. We did just get uh, Eden Wallace back, didn't we? No, he's been back for three games, and our, our defense is still rough. You guys can check out the stats. Mickey on with a pretty solid year, 15 touchdowns, two interceptions. Uh, Marcus Peter, four average on the ground. OB Knight and Owa as well. Uh, receiving Marcus Peters is going to be leading the team in receiving pretty crazy there defensively we just really are not are not playing that well our cornerback has 60 tackles on the year that's probably not great <laughs> so uh sacks wise our leading sack player has two sacks three interceptions for angelo nixon uh is definitely not too bad and kicking six extra points how are we missing six extra points for missing two field goals I don't even know what to say there, but uh, yeah, we got a lot of improvements to make. We're hoping we can finally break the curse of, of winning back-to-back -back games. Maybe next episode, we'll have to see what happens. I'm hoping I'm hoping we can turn this season around. We did beat Miami. We do have a loss to Buffalo, so we are 2-1 and one in the division, which isn't bad. Uh, Buffalo coming up next, or coming up fairly soon, and then we do close out the year on Miami, and we will be watching that one. We are at home in that one, so we will be watching that one in next episode. So that's pretty much going to be it for today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next episode next Monday for another episode of Pocket GM, and that'll be episode number 30. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.